Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning. Tonight at 7, I teach a small Bible study class. You know, I'm thankful for all the believers that I see on TikTok in the midst of the world, in the midst of the ex-prostitutes, and ex-sinning men and a reprobate mind that uh, speak falsely of God, men with men. That's all the further I'll go there. God did not create men to make love to men, but to their wife who can procreate you know what procreate means? To create more humans. All right? And that comes through the womb water of a wife. So much for that. Oh, you foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you. I've always liked that verse. And yes, I'm in Galatians, the third chapter. If you follow me, please turn there. I've got some points to make. Also, I would like to make this point in the very beginning, to learn. Have you learned Christ? What have you learned? That's my question. And check this out. From Galatians 3, 2, where we find, This only would I learn of you, Galatians. The word learn here is 14 times to forward through all the grace be letters, the last six letters plus one, seven, all right? But you find, learn 14 times in the last seven letters of the New Testament that end with grace be. It's about reading the word, going from milk to meat, from carnal to spiritual revelation, which is the meat of the word, the high meat. It's not going deep low. It's going high spiritual above realm. And we carry nothing out of this world. And anything done with hands, may I repeat this and give this some thought, please. Anything done with hand by the ritual traditions and feasts of men does not leave this world and go to the next world with your spirit soul. You carry nothing out, none of the rituals done with hands. There's a circumcision of the flesh, a mutilation of the flesh done with hands where they cut the flesh with some sharp object or a knife. And then there's the circumcision of the Spirit done without hands. The eternal things. Have you learned? Let me read to you in Galatians 3.1. After a little sip of warm coffee, my hand's getting hot. O foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you, that ye should not obey the truth? Before whose eyes Jesus Christ, Lord God, hath evidently been set forth, crucified among you. The host, the vessel, the human body was crucified. God in the flesh was crucified. The spirit in the truth was in the body of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I had a little trouble with my eyes this morning. I have to use eye drops to get the goo out. Verse 2, 3 2 of Galatians. This only would I learn of you. There's the word learn, and you get learn 14 times in all the grace be letters. Seven grace be letters plus one, actually, because Philippians has grace be in the first chapter instead of the last verse. So Philippians. We jump over Philippians, back and forth between Ephesians, Laodicea, it has two names, 
Ephesian Lady Osea over the top of Philippians and land on Colossians. And it's line upon line, here a little, there a little, back and forth, word upon word, find two verses, three verses, four verses saying the same thing. The one word for finding truth in Scripture, what is it? Let me have another sip of coffee. Give me one word to find truth in the written word. Repetition of two, three, and four times. Repetition. Three, two again. This only would I learn of you, Galatians. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Faith, hope, and love, the greatest of those three is love. And then when you get to, uh, okay, that's okay right there. Faith, hope, and love, the greatest of those three is love. Back up, I'm going to read two and three together now. This only would I learn of you, Galatians, receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the, the hearing of faith in Christ, the center of the gospel, the head, Lord King, great high priest forever, eternal El Yon. Each of those words is a Bible study. Verse 3. Are ye so foolish? ka -ching. What does that mean? We got a true witness on the word foolish. We have it twice here. And the second word in 3.1 and the third word in 3.3. 3. O ye foolish, uh, O ye, are ye so foolish, having begun in the spirit, ka -ching. Spirit, the spirit for the second time. And we're going to get the spirit for the four, a third time when we get to verse 5. Are ye so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are ye now made, King James says perfect, the better word is complete. Are you made complete by the flesh? Remember, flesh, blood, and bone go back to dust. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, does not cross over to eternal life or the Lord's realm that he came from. He said, I left my world and my realm and came into your world and your realm. For this I was born to bear witness to the truth. Those that are born, sealed, and love truth hear my voice in their mind heart or hear the thoughts of the Holy Spirit in their mind in quiet time meditation. Verse 4, 3, 4 of Galatians. Have ye, have ye suffered so much? Have ye suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, vain twice, vain, falsehood, lying, doctrine, teachings of men, let no man deceive you. Verse 5. He therefore that ministereth to you the Spirit, and worketh miracles among you. The point is, I put five in there because it takes us to the Spirit for the third time for major doctrine. It's all about the Spirit, people. You must be born of the Spirit. You're born of the natural first, the womb water of your mother, and then you must be born again, Nicodemus, of the Spirit. And I won't go any further there. So we have foolish, foolish, the spirit three times for major doctrine. We have faith twice, if we go to the end of five. He, therefore, that ministered to you the spirit and worketh miracles among you, doeth he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Faith, hope, and love, the greatest of those three is love. And may I read this again to you after faith, hope, and love. Faith in Christ, the center, the head, complete in the Lord of lords, king of kings, the great high priest forever, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Read Hebrews. 
Eternal, how do you spell eternal spiritually? E-T-E-R, E-T-E-R, -E N, capital E, capital L, with a short singular dash under it, four singular, that's what the dash means. Eternal, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed, Revelation 22, 11. He that is righteous, be righteous still. Be in the right, rightness, truth of God. He that is holy, be holy still. And the second holy has a second word with it. Holy, hallowed. Are hallowed, set apart, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Sealed, born of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Christ in you, dwelling and growing. And he is the head of his one body, the assembly, the elect, called out ones, placed saint sons. Boy, I just said a whole lot there. And we got down to the hearing of faith. So we have faith, T.W., true witness. We have foolish, T.W., true witness. We have learn, but we have learn starting in Galatians 3, was it 2? Yes, 3, 2, and then 14 times out to the end of the Bible in the last 7 plus 1 letters of Paul. Love you. 11 minutes and 45 seconds. I'm ending kind of peacefully today. I'm not coming on too strong. I can preach really loud and strong or teach loud and strong. I'm in a mellow, laid-back mood, the peace of the Holy Spirit. I love it. Have a blessed day, everybody. Can you read my hat? Lots of teachings on there. <laughs>